Hi all, welcome to our first installment of From the Workbench, The Road to Adepticon 2017. I am Patrick Keith, the Sculpt Dude and one of the proprietors of Bombshell Miniatures. And so what I wanted to show you today was some of the stuff that I'm working on that uh, is kind of a holdover for from the work that, that I was doing for the Babes 3 uh, Kickstarter project. Uh, plus some of the things that you know we're working on to prepare for going to the show at the end of the month. So uh, I'm going to take you right down here to the workbench and show you some of the things that I've been working on. Okay, so here's some of the stuff that I've been uh, working on uh, this week, uh, which actually needs to go to Valiant as soon as possible so that they can go ahead and get on molding these. This is what I've got done on uh, Anugra, the Oracle, so far. So uh, you can see that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm finishing out some of the detailing and stuff on there and... And she's got uh, uh, some little areas where um, I've got uh, some jewelry to put on, you know, around this area and here. And she's got uh, these braids that kind of come down into this area. And then I've also got to sculpt uh, her hand coming across the book here. And then with her staff, this is actually going to be a separate part uh, to go into the mold to make it a little bit easier. But I have to sculpt her hand on here in order to, you know, so that she'll be holding the staff. So we'll have to have to kind of work that out. I need to trim the end of that so that it'll fit uh, in this this space where her robe, uh, the sleeve of her robe is. So anyway, that's next, and so I'll be doing that uh, today. Uh, what we've got here is um, Sheldareth, the uh, the elf model. And let, let's see if I can get that to focus a little bit better on there. Uh, there you go. So Sheldareth is mostly done at this point. So I've got uh, a lot of the shapes blocked out. She's still got a little bit of detailing to do. I've got her arms uh, that need to be finished. And in the, uh, the concept art... There's some tree bark and, and little uh, twigs and so forth that kind of stick off of that. And I've already sculpted her sword, and that's actually in uh, silicon mold right now so that I can cast a duplicate because she's got matching swords in the art. And so I want to make sure that that's, they're exactly the same. So I'm going to uh, make resin castings of those and attach those here so that when I separate the arms as a, as a separate part, then uh, there will be a right one and a left one for her. So at this point, uh, the work that I need to, to finish on Sheldareth is uh, she's got some more, um, I guess, foliage that, that comes around her belt and and around on this side. So there's these vines and things that are, are going up her the side of her legs and on her arms and everything. Very, very wood elfy in design. And so... Uh, what I'll probably wind up working on next is I'll uh, I'll be putting her hair and her ears on and uh, and you know finishing out some of that stuff. There's a little bit of space on the back of her belt here, and so I may do some kind of another pouch or something, you know, on the back to kind of create interest or whatever. There, it's not it doesn't show up on the art, but since it's a three-dimensional model, you know, you, you I don't want uh, there to be a, a bare patch, you know, on there. So it's like there, there's some space where there could be some other details or whatever added on there. So so that's what I've got left to do on her. So she's coming along, and uh, I'm hoping to get these pieces finished today and off to Valiant as soon as possible. So then what I've got uh, on this piece here, you may, may notice this is just blocked out. I, let me see if I can get my camera to focus on it there. Okay, so this is Ellie, and this is the Space Girl, and this was probably the uh, uh, the second to last stretch goal that we did on the Babes 3 Kickstarter, where she's uh, the Space Girl that uh, Chris Walton designed, and, like he did uh, a lot of the other figures. And then, um, so what this is, is this is the wire armature that's posed, you know, in in the, the shape to, to match the, uh, the concept art. And so I've just basically blocked out just the rough forms in order to capture the anatomy and so forth on there. And then what I'll do is I'll layer over this with uh, bees putty, which is a um, it's um, it's a polymer clay, okay. And uh, basically you soften it up. And I don't have to do anything to this armature at this point after it's it's blocked out with this Procreate. Uh, 
I can basically just take this and stick it right on there because of the way that the bees putty is made. So I'll stick that on there and then uh, I'll do the, uh, uh, you know, shape the anatomy and everything, or basically the armor that she has because she's in kind of a space suit. So I'll sculpt the shape of the space suit and then work the details and so forth into that uh, as I go along. But basically this is, this is how it starts out. And because of the way that the, the figure is, is designed, she has a separate helmet. So, uh, so I thought, or in the art, the, the helmet's kind of floating here in space. So I thought, well, it would be kind of cool since the art, the helmet was included with the design would be to make the head separate and then, uh, do the helmet as a separate piece and add that on there. And, uh, and that way, you know, when you get the figure, you can choose which one, you know, how you want to model it, whether you want to have her without the helmet or with the helmet and so forth. Now in the art, she's got a companion robot, uh, in the scene. And so I've also, uh, I've sculpted that, but that's, that's actually out at, at mold right now. So that's where we are on that so far.